On the crucial questions of whether the 21 victims of the pub bombings in Birmingham back in 1974 uh, were murdered, the jury here has concluded that yes, they were murdered. Uh, they have also concluded that they were unlawfully killed. On those two questions, they were asked to decide uh, whether they were certain that that was the case. Their verdicts are still coming in. They've been asked several questions. Um, they've all, one of the questions they were asked was whether they were sure that this attack in Birmingham, two bombs in two city centre pubs that killed 21 people, was it carried out by the IRA? Uh, the jury in these inquests has decided that yes, it was carried out uh, by the IRA. Now I'm still uh, getting uh, these verdicts. They're, they're coming out in the court at the moment. My colleague inside is, is telling them, uh, literally as, as the jury foreman is telling the court, of course the court is packed with the family members of the 21 people who died in these bombings. It was nearly 45 years ago but for them it is still extremely raw and they have campaigned for these inquests for many many years now we've had a question one of the questions that the jury was asked was was uh, a warning call that was made adequate for the purposes of ensuring that lives were not lost uh, in the mulberry bush and the tavern in the town the answer to that they've decided is no that warning call was not adequate such that lives weren't lost and they were asked if the adequacy of that call or the inadequacy uh, resulted or probably caused or contributed to the loss of life and to that question they have answered yes. Now we're getting on to questions about uh, the police response to those bombings. Uh, the jury was asked, was any error or omission in West Midlands Police's response to the warning call probably caused or contributed uh, to the loss of life in these bombings? Uh, the answer to that, the jury has decided, is no. Uh, now they were asked, did it possibly contribute to the loss of life in the bombings. To that, they've also decided no. So uh, deciding that any error or omission in West Midlands Police's response probably or possibly contributed to the loss of life, the jury here has decided that that is not the case.